Okay, so in today's math lesson, we talked about commutative properties of addition and of multiplication. And we talked about uh, zero properties and identity properties using variables instead of just values. We're really checking, making the transition from numbers to variables. So in the first statement here, it asks, state the commutative property of addition using variables A and B. Now, if we took values, actual numbers, we would know that 2 plus 3 equals 3 plus 2. But if I was to substitute variables for those particular values, the same thing holds true. So that A plus B is now equal to B plus A. And the same thing holds true for multiplication. If 2 times 3 is equivalent to 3 times 2, well, then I could substitute variables in place of those values, and the same thing would be true. So if 2 equaled A and 3 equaled B, it would be A times B equals B times A. Those values would be the same. You could substitute any of those numbers, any of those variables for numbers, and the same thing would be true. Now, an uh, additive property of 0 using the variable B, well, that's basically stating that any number I, I replace with B or I replace B with will, give, will not change uh, the value if I'm adding 0. So if, let's say I have 5 and I'm adding 0, I'm going to have 5. Well, if I replace 5 with B, well, that's stating that B plus 0. I'm still going to wind up with B because, well, B equals 5. Okay? And the uh, same thing for the identity property of multiplication or the multiplicative identity property, which states that any number, let's take 5 again, times 1 is going to give me that 5 again. And if I'm going to replace that number with a variable, let's say b, the same thing is true. So b times 1 would therefore therefore give me b. Okay? And uh, then they give me a nice little chart here about things to fill in. I want a commutative property of addition, which means the order does not change. So if I'm adding uh, c to 25, that's the same as taking c and adding 25. Okay? The commutative property of multiplication. If I'm taking L and multiplying it by W, that's the same as taking multi W, multiplying it by L. The additive property of 0, uh, H doesn't matter what H, the value of H is. If I'm adding 0 to it, I'm going to wind up with H. Okay? And you can substitute any number you want for H, and you would still uh, have H by the time you're done adding nothing or adding 0. And the multiplicative identity property uh, of 1 is very similar to that. If it doesn't matter what I have for the value of v, if I'm multiplying it by 1, I will wind up, once again, with v. And if you'd like to substitute a number for that, that's fine. Okay? So that's the deal, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.